So yesterday we started looking at Roman numerals. So let's just recap on what we learnt then. So if we remember that I equals 1, V equals 5, X is 10, and I'm sure that you're actually saying these as I do them, because you're very good at these. L equals, and I'm sure you've already said 50, C, well, we know how we remember C. C stands for century, and we know that a century is a hundred years. D is 500, and then M is a thousand, and we remember that M stands for millennium. Okay, and we learned yesterday that when we are looking at Roman numerals, so let's have xvi as an example, we know that x is 10, v is 5, and i is 1. If the numbers start off large and they get smaller, we add them together. So we've got 10, 5, and 1, that equals 16. But if we have numbers which are slightly different and they get smaller, so for example, if we have x, x, iv, then x is 10, 10 again, then we've got 1 and 5. So we've got two large numbers there, we've got 10 and 10, which is 20. But then we've got a small value before a large one. So that means one less than five. So that one would be four. So that number would be 24. So that's just a recap on what we looked at yesterday when we were looking at the mechanics of Roman numerals. So I've uploaded on Seesaw for you three different activities, three different challenges. Challenge one starts off, it's fairly simple. Um, you should be okay with that one. And then they get progressively harder. Challenge three is the is the uh, the trickiest one. So you choose whichever challenge you feel most confident with and do that challenge. Now, I would like you to work for about 45 minutes on this. Don't do any more than 45 minutes. If you complete a challenge and you're feeling very good about it and you've got some time left, then you could go on to the next challenge up and do some questions on that one. But remember, do about 45 minutes.